the woman who lost her husband and their four daughters in a horrific crash in which she was the lone survivor told her aunt auntie, I'm alone as the man who drove his truck into the wrong lane and caused the accident has been identified. Mary Rose Balakanag, 53, of Teaneck, New Jersey, was in a Delaware hospital as of Sunday evening after suffering broken bones in a devastating car wreck on Friday afternoon, the New York Post reported. Her husband, Audi Marquez Trinidad, 61, and their four daughters Caitlin, 20, Dana, 17, and twins Melissa and Allison, 13 were killed in a car wreck on Friday afternoon as the family made their way home from a trip to Ocean City, Maryland. Police said the family of six were traveling northbound on Route 1 in Delaware just before 4 p.m. when a maroon pickup truck crossed the center median into oncoming traffic slamming into the family's white Toyota Sienna minivan. The minivan came to stop on the median and looked unrecognizable in photos. Authorities said five of the family members were killed in the crash and pronounced dead at the scene. Scroll down for video Balakanag, who fell asleep during the trip but was woken up with her husband's head resting on her chest just after the horrific collision, was the only survivor from the family. The driver of the maroon truck that hit the family's car, meanwhile, has been identified as Alvin Hubbard Jr., 44, according to The Post. He and an unidentified 30-year-old male passenger suffered just minor injuries. Police are still investigating the circumstances of the accident. So far, Halbert has not been charged with a crime. The red Ford F-350 driven by Halbert bored the diesel for Aladac Metalworks on its side. At around 3.45 p.m., it inexplicably drove across the grass median from the southbound lane into the northbound lane, according to police. Officials said the Ford first hit the rear driver's side of a 2002 Mercury Sable, which was being driven by Brian McKern, 24, of Bethlehem, PA. The collision forced the Mercury Sable to spin out of control. The truck then rammed directly into the Trinidad family's 1998 Toyota Sienna. Kern was treated for minor injuries and released from the hospital. Lydia Agas, Balakanag's aunt, said she spoke to her niece from the hospital. Balakanag is under heavy sedation while struggling to come to grips with the family tragedy, according to relatives. Audi's brother, Daniel Trinidad, told the New York Post, that the family was devastated over the sudden loss. I'm trying to keep it together. We don't know how we will cope once reality sets in. They're all gone, gone, he said. They're God fearing family. They go to church. My brother texted me a picture of the blue crabs they ate on 4th of July. They're all gone in the blink of an eye. Their bodies in the morgue are unrecognizable. Actress Sarah Contreras, from the Showtime show Latin Divas of Comedy, knew 17-year-old Dana and posted a heartfelt message about the teen on her Instagram page. Dana a lovely and brilliant Teaneck HS student and beloved friend of my extended family, was killed yesterday along with her three sisters and father in a car accident, Contreras wrote on Instagram. Make every day a new opportunity to value yourself, your family and your friends. Life is too precious and it can all be taken in a second. We grieve as a community for this beautiful family. 
It's incredibly sad and incomprehensible. According to Dana's Facebook page, she graduated from Teaneck High School this year. Her sister, Caitlin, was also a graduate from the high school. According to reports, she was a nursing student. It's not clear if twins Allison and Melissa were students there. Share this article share it's certainly heartbreaking as you can imagine, Delaware State Police Master Corporal Melissa Jaffe told NBC10. Those of us that have families and children, I mean, I feel so bad for this family. I can't imagine what they're going through. To lose four children in a crash. It's just unheard of, she added. The sister's uncle, Joel Paul Mokal Balakanag, posted a moving tribute to the family on his Facebook page Saturday afternoon. Too many angels were taken from our family yesterday. My four nieces and their dad died instantly in a vehicular accident in Delaware, USA. My sister Mary Rose Balakanag continues to fight for her life and still in a critical condition," he posted. I am soliciting prayers for the souls of Kaya Adi, Nikki, Dana, Melissa, and Allison and lots of prayers for the recovery of my sister 8 Rose. Photos from the scene showed the minivan with its roof ripped off and a tarp covering the inside of the vehicle. The truck had extensive damage to its front driver's side and the passenger side was completely caved in. Police said the husband and wife were properly restrained in the vehicle, but the four girls were not. It's not clear why the truck crossed into the northbound lanes. Police are investigating whether the driver was impaired. The Walt Disney Company privacy policy photo showed the car, a white four-door passenger car, with extensive damage to its rear. The driver of that car was hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. Route 1 was closed for five hours on Friday evening as authorities worked to clean up debris. There's no word if the driver of the truck will face charges. Family members of the Trinidad family said a memorial will be held Saturday at 9 p.m. at Voti Park in Teaneck. A golfing page was set up on Saturday to help with funeral arrangements and any expenses Mary Rose may need once she recovers. So far, more than $13,000 had been raised. In an update on the page, family and friends said Mary Rose was stable and alert. They said they would provide further information on her condition later. According to ABC, she works as a nurse at Mount Sinai Beth Israel in New York. Her husband was a postal worker. It is unknown at this time the amount of support this mother will need, the Goffin page read. Any assistance of any kind is greatly appreciated at this difficult time.